Hi, my name is Pratnoa Yutatamo, and I've been a monk in Thailand for the past seven years. I was ordained in Chom Thong by my preceptor Ajahn Thong Siri Mangkalo, and I have since moved around to try to find a suitable place to start an international meditation center. The Lord Buddha said that we should always strive to go on alms round every morning for our food. So it's something that I've taken to heart and I always try my best to make it a part of my daily routine. In Buddhism and Thai culture, it's very important to do good deeds. This is a source of happiness. So because of the teaching, it just becomes second nature to them. When they see someone who deserves something, yes, this, this monk is practicing in a way which is uh, noble, which is uh, honorable. They immediately move towards and they're looking for some way to support and to make merit, we say, with this person. Being a, being a monk is a lot more about what you aren't than anything else. I mean, the, the Pali word for, for ordaining means going forth, leaving behind. And we leave behind the ordinary everyday life. We leave behind pretty much everything that makes us the average ordinary person, who we are. And all that's left is something like a nobody, uh, a bum if you want to say, someone who who doesn't, uh, doesn't vote, who doesn't speak up on current events, well sometimes, but doesn't get involved with the world, is someone who has left the world behind. And all that's left is someone who walks, who sits, who eats, who does things which everyone else does in a very ordinary way. You become very ordinary as a monk, I think. Uh, and maybe that's what's so fascinating about it is that you know, you're just, you're just being. I mean, how can you do that? Uh, and of course, often it involves living in the forest and so on, which is always somewhat romantic. But uh, in the end, I think that's a lot to do with what the meditation is as well. It's coming back to the ordinary. Because most of our lives as ordinary people and most of the things that get us into trouble are the things that take us out of the ordinary everyday life. You know, our wishes, our desires, our wants, our needs, things of in the future, our, our attachment to the future, our attachment to the past, thinking or mourning or worrying about things which have nothing to do with right here and right now. So what you get when you leave all this behind is simply an ordinary state of being, which is in the end really, uh, really just about nothing. It's just being. That's, to me, that's what it means to be a monk.